I don't know what, I mean, make sense of that, Alan. It just, it's hard to make sense of that game that was. You know, when Ireland were nine points down uh, in, in, in that um, start of the second half, kind of 10 minutes into that second half, they're nine points down. Then they go 10 points ahead, and you think in 65 minutes, it's Ireland's to win here, just get, get that control again. They get a penalty, England, then a try, then it's level. It's crazy stuff. And in the end, Ireland are hanging on. Credit to both sides, uh, lots of mistakes, but it was frantic the whole way through, non-stop, lots of errors and mistakes. Ireland's line-out <coughs> um, went bad in that second half and it was costly for them, but incredible game. Fiona, it it's a game, game. You're, you're relieved to get a draw in, also annoyed not to have won. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just... Madness, Incredible. madness. Look, I suppose the thing about uh, Quinny's right, lots of mistakes, but what, what tries were scored on that mm. pitch was magical to watch. Um, yes, you want to, you don't want to get that loss because that would mean you're probably out of of, of going forward into that semi-final final um, slot. But a draw is probably good for both teams. You'll see what Australia is like today. It and all go rolls back to that. that game, doesn't it? It just really sets that game up. Um, you know, the draw and the bonus points secured from Ireland. That's the that's the good bit. It just means Australia at the next. Day becomes huge for Ireland as we always knew uh, it would be.